Hey everybody, it's Tom here with my one month post-op update. I um, can't believe it's been four weeks, um, but it has. I've been back to work for two weeks and um, I have been tired at night. I have not been walking 10,000 steps a day um, and I really need to get a kick in the butt and start doing that. And Virginia officially issued a kick in the butt last night. <laughs> I hadn't synced my steps on walking spree from my pedometer in over a week, a week and a half probably. So um, I did sync up. I'm going to try and get back to uh, things and and uh, try and build up again. Um, maybe start with uh, 6,000 and 8,000 and 10,000 steps a day to get back to 10,000 steps a day. Not sure why I'm slacking here, but. It does have to do with my energy level and stress at work and things like that. But um, I am feeling great. I'm getting in all my protein. I'm getting in all my fluids. Um, I uh, weighed in on Wednesday, yesterday, um, and I weighed in at 284. Uh, so that is down from 287 last week, so a loss of three pounds. Total weight loss since surgery is 25 pounds in four weeks. Uh, total weight loss uh, since I entered the uh, program is 57 pounds since about the middle of March. So 57 pounds, 25 since surgery. Uh, my doctor said that that weight before surgery has probably caused me to plateau a little bit here and that's why I'm having these slower weeks. but. With activity <laughs> and um, you know, watching what I'm eating and portions, I should be uh, catching up and uh, getting some larger weeks as we go forward. But hey, I will take three pounds every week if I could get it. <laughs> three pounds is a lot when you look at three pounds of like a three-pound roast or three pounds of ground beef or you know, I'm happy with it. But. That's it. So today I went for my one month um, post-op visit with my surgeon and uh, he's very happy with my results. Um, I'm at uh, around 30% of my excess uh, weight loss already, uh, which is great. He said uh, anywhere from 15 to 25 is about normal for my duodenal switch surgery, comparison numbers with other patients. So um, I'm doing pretty well there. Um, we did uh, speak about um, a few items that I had questions on. Uh, I got a copy of my operative report. So if you've never seen your operative report and you want to know exactly what the surgeon did and what happened in the operating room, you can ask your surgeon for a copy of your operative report. Um, uh, I found out that he used a 58 bogey for my stomach when he created my stomach um, sleep gastrectomy, uh, the first portion of the duodenal switch surgery. Uh, then he gave me a 100 centimeter common channel. Uh, so that is where all my absorption happens. Um, so I only absorb nutrients and and fats and everything in that 100 centimeter, which is about 40 inches, I believe, um, of my small intestines. Um, I don't know that I've talked about this before, but with the DS surgery, I malabsorb 80% um, of fat, 40% uh, of protein, I believe. Um, I have these numbers somewhere and I didn't get them out. I didn't think I was going to talk about this today. But um, that is uh, the danger and the beauty of the DS surgery um, because I have the both restrictive and the malabsorptive going for me to help me lose my weight with the restrictive and the malabsorptive for me to keep it off. And that is really where my problem has been. And, um, you know, I. I can lose weight. I just couldn't keep it off. I've lost 100 pounds several times in my life 
and um, I didn't want to do it again. So the small absorptive portion of the DS surgery is going to help me keep that off. Um, it does have the um, lowest regain rate of all the uh, weight loss surgeries, and that's the reason why. But with it becomes um, with it comes responsibility of taking um, more um, supplements than uh, an RNY patient would because we now absorb them. So we have to take about triple uh, normal adult doses um, of our vitamins. And we also need to um, commit to having um, you know, blood work done regularly to monitor our levels. So um, I am taking my supplements, no problems. Everything seems to be going well. Energy level is coming back, but like I said, I think it's, I think there's also something to do with the fact that the surgery is over now. You know, like I, there's this whole prep phase of going through surgery. And um, so there's something there. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> but um, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, I'll be back next Wednesday and go back to doing my updates on Wednesdays. Excuse me. Um, and I hope everybody has a great week. 25 pounds in surgery, 57 pounds overall.